Well, hello there. My name is Mark the Shark. Last time, we escaped the psycho Zlotko insane Frankenstein doctor. Oh, that was just crazy, dude. And now we are Connor again, and we're in this place. Is this a real place, or is it like in his mind? Either this is like some high-end area of cyber life, or it's like some sort of strange assessment program in his own mind, because this is where we talked to that lady before that was like, like the Oracle from the Matrix, who's like assessing us, right? And talking to us in very cryptic, vague ways. I'm so glad, by the way, that me and Hank, well, Connor and Hank, I mean, uh, we're on good terms again. Really good terms. Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Ah, trusted. Would you mind a little walk? Yeah, sure. I wonder if Cyberlife... That mm. deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. Hold on. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. I saved Hank, man! Explain. Deviants are completely irrational, which makes it difficult to anticipate their behavior. But I should have been more effective. No, I saved Hank. Did you manage to learn anything? Diary, signs on the walls. Yeah, the signs on the walls. The walls I... of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths. And I missed symbols. one. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. What else? Well, there was the diary with weird stuff. I found stuff. its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. Huh. You came very close to capturing that deviant. Yeah. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? We're good. I saved him. He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. Huh. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Is she a robot? I don't think so, right? She doesn't have a thing. But she acts kind of weird. So she's obviously part of Cyberlife or some like high up authority, right? That clearly doesn't want the android plague spreading. Which is why they designed him, right? To stop it. That's Uber in the future. I'm Hank's friend. Yay! Can I go around back? Oh. Whoa, I can. But why? Why am I snooping on him? I don't think he'll like that. <gasps> oh, oh, okay, he's unconscious. Lieutenant he's Anderson! He's a drunk alcoholic, don't worry. No, don't break it. Easy, sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. I think he's just on a drunken rampage. Yeah, look at all that vodka. <laughs> Couldn't you have calmly opened the window? <laughs> hey, Hank? Hank? <laughs> what did he do, vomit on himself? Why is Hank like this? Scotch whiskey. No signs of arrhythmia. Wait, was that slight arrhythmia? 
light arrhythmia. No signs of trauma. Okay. And what else? Why do you have a gun in your hand, dude? One bullet remaining. Oh, shoot, dude. Hank, you stupid mofo. What are you doing? Why is he doing that? Lieutenant. Was he going to commit suicide? <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. What is wrong with you? <laughs> it's me, Connor. <laughs> I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey! You have to warn me. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Interestingly enough, Hank needs Connor. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here! Connor's helping him. Sumo! Attack! <laughs> Good job. Attack! <laughs> fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Yeah, and why was there a f effing gun in your hand with a bullet? Crazy son of a bitch. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <sighs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. Huh? It's for your own good. Homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. No, remember Cortez? <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? Cortez wasn't a cop. Irrational. Unfortunately, I cannot. I've been programmed to investigate this case, and I can't do it without you. I don't give a shit about your goddamn case. Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here. Come on, Hank. Uh, tease him? I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. <laughs> There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. Is it actually a sex club, though? All right, Hank. I'm a little concerned for Hank. Why the hell did he have a gun with one bullet in it, crazy son of a bitch? Where's your clothes at, damn it? Oh. <laughs> All right, what do you want to wear? Whatever. <laughs> Hippy, stripey, streaky. <laughs> We're definitely going hippie. I, I see you went through that phase, Hank. <sighs> Do you have an afro? You want, where's your sunglasses at? Come on, we need those aviators. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> he apparently likes his whiskey. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you can actually see it. Learn more about Hank. All right. All right, we'll start in the living room, I guess. Oh, he likes jazz, huh? Hey, buddy. Hey, Sumo. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, good dog.
What does Hank have over here? He likes blues, huh? Detroit Soul Records. Ah, oh, okay. Hank loves jazz. That's good to know. He likes Chinese food. And alcohol. Very much so. Who is that? Did Hank have a kid? Oh. Hank lost his son. Oh. Now we're finding out a little bit about him, huh? Okay, that's why he is the way he is. Oh. Uh, this is kind of scary. What the hell was he doing here? I mean, I think we know what he was doing here. What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Yeah, maybe we should take the gun out of the house. <laughs> nice outfit, bro. <laughs> Where are the Doobie Brothers at? <laughs> where, where the, where's the other half of the Doobie Brothers, Hank? <laughs> Alright. Alright, I think in a strange way, Hank really needs us. Like, we're saving him, right? From himself. Is this Jericho? This is the shipyard. Ah. Oh. We're gonna play as Marcus the Sharkus. Oh. We have a whole squad. This is crazy. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. Jericho, neutral. What is my what is the point of my relationship with Jericho? So those little drones, I'm assuming, are like little scouts. So probably avoid those things. Don't let them see us. How so? Where are they? Ah! Oh, okay, good. They're blind, that's good. Watch out. What? Ah, yeah, the little scouts, huh? Now what do we do? Don't worry about it. How does she know the way? Shouldn't I be leading the way? I mean, I'm Marcus the Sharkus. I can hit the X button like a champion. I should be leading the way. Is X always jump? I hope we're not missing anything. I don't think so. Cyber life. What happens if I miss the jump? <laughs> Marcus, climb up here. All right, all right. Oh, we're going all splinter cell here. <laughs> Alright. So far, so good. This seems like a lot of trouble to go through just to get some blue blood, but I guess it would be pretty important. Maybe. I don't know.
Maybe my reputation with Jericho is more important than the blue blood itself. I don't know. I, I get the impression that Jericho might be kind of crazy. The first thing that guy said was, we don't have weapons. Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First yeah. we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Get rid of the drone. I get the feeling the whole Jericho community wants to end the human race. Reconstruct. Alright. So this is kind of like a choose your path type of thing as well, right? But there's ways you can fail and there's ways you can succeed. Alright, so we have three different routes we can go. We can jump that way. What does that way do? Would be spotted. Well, that's pretty bad. Alright, how about up here? Would be too high. And this way would be just right. And from there we have to make a decision, right? So we can go that way. Well, maybe that's the only way we can go. We can jump off the thing and we can attack the drone. Or is there an or we can do that. What's that? We can wait, and then BAM! Splinter Cell style it down. Ah, That is too cool. <laughs> Come on, Mary. Gotcha. Stealth okay. kill. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Good job, Marcus. Quick, Are we gonna have an Android girlfriend? Bath. Take as much as you can. What? What are we taking? I I didn't hear what he said. Oh, this blue blood in here. Ah, huh. oh. <laughs> they're in little blood packs. <laughs> So that's like a regular thing, huh? Android injuries needing transfusion? Hi! You were trespassing on private property. No, we're not! This constitutes a level 2 infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? 15 seconds. Hide. Um, kill guard? Run away. Grab and hide. Grab and hide! Wow, you have so limited John. time. Don't say I a thing. Help. John! Hold, release, attack. Hold. Hold. I don't want to kill humans, dude. That's when things start to go south really fast. I don't feel like Marcus... I don't want to be that First type of player. Oh, now this. Just my luck. I don't think we should start killing people. I mean, that guy's innocent. He's just a guard. He didn't do anything. We're not gonna kill him. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. All right, all right. Let's get the blue blood. So we kind of like, like hacked into him and like, I don't know. We communicated with him silently, right? So I feel like it's better to just use influence rather than brute force. Because public opinion will go down, things will just escalate really quick, then everyone's gonna be after us, and the next thing you know we're gonna have to be forced to kill more people. It just would, would go to hell really fast. Um, what else is over here? You done good, you done good, okay. It would be interesting, though, to do a playthrough of this where Marcus is kind of evil, right? And just shiving people and killing humans left and right. And interestingly, I think it would fit the story because he's all about revenge. And I'm, that's how I feel. I think he's all about revenge against people, right? So it would be really fascinating to replay through this. 
and just go straight up, like, bad mode. Kill people, do what I want, take over everything. Why aren't you like us? Don't you want to be free? Free them? Oh, baby. Oh, man. We're creating an army. Oh, this is interesting. So he is using influence. Oh, God. That's even more scary than killing people. Creating an army. How is he doing that? Because he's RA9, dude! I'm telling you! He's got the influence to just change androids like that! Oh, hell! And that's all we can carry. Let's go. No other android can do that. Only Marcus is Take able to do that. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. No, we're gonna take him. They come with us. It's more dangerous to leave him there. I don't care if North doesn't like it or not. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. Oh. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, on the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. Oh, the no. Spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Huh, interesting. I have to decide which people I want to make good friends with. No, we're going to go. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Hmm. Ah, see? North at first didn't like it, but now she's kind of on her side. Steal an electronic key. Okay. What's the best, best pathway we can take? Hmm. I don't know, man. Oh, 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 there's a drone that way. Okay. Okay. All right, we got... What the hell is that? We got window, other window, door, or that way. What the heck is this? Dogs? Oh, that's not quite good, is it? Alright, let's look through the windows. This way seems too obvious, dude. <gasps> okay, it's just a truck. <laughs> Oh, that's the key. So maybe we can distract them by, like, setting off the dogs? Hmm. Alright. Let's go through this way. Oh, God, I hope I don't mess this up. I really want to stealth this. Come on. Damn. Dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah. I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? <laughs> Looks like it. But he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling that. I can kill the guards. I knew that would be an option too, like go in and just kill people, or do you want to do this stealth mode? Take the gun? I... I no, that's not the right option, dude. Ah. Can you duck a little more, please? 
cause a blackout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go pure stealth. Yeah, do it. What's wrong with you? Do it. Oh, we need tools. Short circuit. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not gonna go all anti-human race here. I'm not in Terminator mode, even though that would be a really interesting way to play, I gotta admit. Don't be seen. Don't f*** this up. Come on, come on, come on. Hide in the room! <laughs> come on! <sighs> I don't know shit about electricity. Alright, steal it, steal it, steal it, steal it, steal it! Uh. Uh uh Show yourself! We know you're here! Bullshit! I don't know what you think you're doing, but you better come out right now! Exit, come on! <sighs> oh, man, I thought I was gonna mess that up. Did you get it? Yeah, baby, I got it. Nice. All right. Now we can drive this baller truck. Look at this. I always wanted a truck like that. It's so jazzy. Hurry, get in. Insert the key. Drive out of the docks. Oh god. Okay, we're gonna drive as best we can. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm steering this. Oh, goodness God, am I actually steering this? Um, I legit don't know which way to go. Oh! Don't crash! Don't do that! Uh, uh, okay, that way. <laughs> Alright, good. I'm glad we didn't... You have to kill those guys or get seen. I want Marcus to be smarter than that. Rather than just be like, BAM! He's gonna use intelligence to get through this. A truckload! Yeah. We stole a whole truckload! We got bio components for everybody! We couldn't have done it without Marcus. The Sharkus. Ah, I admired. And I'm a friend of North. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But he's gonna be the one to free them. But I don't want that freedom. Yeah. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive. And they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. All right, nine. What humans don't wanna hear, we will tell them. What they don't wanna give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! As long as we keep cool about this. Marcus is demonstrating some signs of going all Terminator, isn't he? This has been a pretty interesting episode. Huh. Marcus is starting to rally the troops up. I really want to see what happens. Anyway, I'll cut it here. Until next time, keep on dancing.
Huh, so Marcus is starting to rally the troops up, huh? And I am still convinced he's RA9. He's got this power to, like, convert other androids to his army, right? So we're no doubt going to make the, the decision whether we want to just create this army and storm Detroit and storm the world. Or do we go about this in a more peaceful way? Hmm. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. We're going to see. So until next time, keep on dancing. <laughs>